it goes there. There's this, a line coming from the uh, front light that goes up to the flank and suddenly is gone. You see that? It just went up there and it suddenly goes nowhere. It goes up in a strange curve and then it's gone. In the back it's pretty tranquil. Um, you see there could even be more lines here on the side near the rear bumper uh, because that's too much of an empty surface where nothing really is happening. Uh, the, uh, the rear is pretty tall but that's aerodynamically interesting. Uh, but in itself there's not a lot, not a heck of a lot going on there. Um, but then once we turn back to the side which is still pretty clean and then you turn to the front and you see what's happening over the front fender. Uh, that little blistering surface there, um, that is both in, on, in this situation in the turntable at uh, Auto Pacific as well as in real. Perspective you can clearly see the, the two, two and a half box shape. And then on the front, you can clearly see the um, elements of the lights, but then also that uh, nondescript uh, front grille with thankfully at least a large element to make it Lexus identity. But the rest of it is pretty uh, nondescript. You can see here the, the sun highlight, the, the sunset highlight, really accentuating that area over the front fender that we've been discussing while we're on the turntable. And it's something that um, really struck us. But you do see the quality of finish here. The really tight gaps everywhere. And the um, beautiful way the body panels fit, even though it's different materials like the plastics and the metals. No color differences that we know. <laughs>